Today we're making uni shooters. If you like oyster shooters, you might want to try this one. Perfect amuse bush to impress your significant other or totally freak them out. Mine was amused. Well, let's get started. Get your favorite glass for the shooter and pour about a teaspoon of light sodium soy sauce. Now we're adding some sesame oil and do about another teaspoon or so. Now my favorite part, pour some sake. Maybe do a, about a quarter cup, um, fill that glass up. And for oyster shooter, you use vodka. This one, you're using sake. Makes sense. The next ingredient is mirin. It's the sweet Japanese cooking wine. Just add a touch of it. It really adds some of that sweetness. Make this dish really pop. Now mix around the mixture. Now we're adding some tobiko, which is the flying fish roe. And they have this in various different colors, including black, orange, red. Just use whatever colors you want. I don't think there's any difference in the flavor. And yes, we're adding some quail eggs, raw quail eggs. When you add them in, the shell is a little bit soft, so do your best not to get any shells in it. And one for my lady as well. And of course, uni shooters wouldn't be called uni shooters without the uni. Put about one or two pieces into your shooter. I think I put two in mine. Now time for some chives. Make sure you thinly slice them. I just use a scissor, it's just easy. Just get a bunch bundled up in your hand and just, you know, cut it with your scissors. And you can easily just add some into your glass. And make sure you don't accidentally slice your fingernails off. That would be bad. I'm also tossing in some furikake. And furikake is like a Japanese seaweed flakes. Sometimes it's got some shrimp or fish powder in it. For this one, I'm just using the ones with, you know, nori and sesame seeds and things like that. You know, nothing with shrimp or fish flakes in it. Add in some more sesame seeds. Where you start adding some finesse. Now you want to garnish it with some thinly sliced nori pieces. Once again, I um, bundle it up and use a scissor to just easily, you know, slice them into thin slices. And that's it. This is definitely one of our favorite Friday night drinks and I really like watching some of my guests drink it for the first time. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>